locals. I have three locals within driving distance of my house. And there's more even further down the line. So, you already know that we, we play this game out here. We grind it pretty hard. We have a Discord server just for it. I think it's not really uh, a controversial thing to say that Tri-State is the best region at this game. You okay? Look at Pokemon here in the background. Um, she just floating there. Oh my goodness, wait, look at that f smash. I kind of wish you never pointed that out to me. <laughs> it's fine. It's I'm going to keep it a stack with you because that's beta. super distracting. It's, it's still in the beta. It's still in the beta. It's fine. Don't that is an me. eldritch horror beyond my comprehension, my friend. I mean, like, in order to become the Pokemon trainer, you got to not only believe in the heart of the cards like you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player, you also just have to make, like, some... Like some sacrificial sacrifices to demons, apparently, so you can gain the eldritch ability to float. Absolute nutty stuff coming out right here. Speaking of nutty stuff, we got Beast already taking the stock. Mr. Mojo Ryzen trying to take him off the top already with that upbeat. Nothing doing. Two of the best players in the room right here. Showing you why here out winner's final. Good ledge hog coming out from Mr. Mojo Ryzen. Good steal right there. Yeah, real slick using the uh, the reverse upbeat to grab ledge. That's the kind of stuff you're going to have to do against Charizard because edge guarding him off the level, as we mentioned a couple sets ago, is very, very dangerous. Even if you are Cloud and you got that Smash 4 neutral air, off the level, you just do not want to mess with this character, especially if you're playing a character that doesn't snap ledge like a normal character. So you got to take your ledge hogs against Charizard, but you can really get him. Great blade beam coming out from Mojo, catching Beast, trying to get off that platform. <laughs> so you like that lingering hitbox? I saw that Darren Air coming out. My up air's not done. My up air's not done, Beast. Yeah. Dude, okay, I need to I need to point out that this entire like string of advantage came off of a Mojo parrying a neutral air from Beast. So I don't think it's something we've seen anyone else really do to Beast, like try to parry the neutral air. Right. I mean, that's not too surprising. I mean, I feel like Neutral Air is definitely one of Charizard's best moves. It's a giant hitbox, and against a lot of the very small stages that we have in the current legal rule set of HDR, it's just a hard thing to work around. So if you're able to just get your parries on time and on point to be able to do that, that's, you know, you got to take what you can get against that move. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're Yeah, you gotta parry. If, you can, if you're good enough at the game to get your parry timing down, parry that move and do it. Okay, I actually really like that side beat from Beast, because I think he noticed that Mojo's shield was kind of small, so he was like, okay, you either get hit and die, or you get shield break and die. Or potentially shield poke and die. But either way, all options lead to you dying. Assuming I don't miss. Alright. That down tilt, man, such yeah. so good at covering space. It can be difficult for like a big body like Charizard to land, especially against a character like Cloud that can up air you forever. But then when he eventually does, and you're able to get the down tilt out to just be able to get that coverage as well, whew, kind of makes you think about who might win this matchup, right? Right. Now, one thing I really like from... Oh um, my god, he missed the first parry and then he did it again and was able to still get the up tilt. Yeah, one of the things I really like coming out from Mojo is that they seem to be very liberal in terms of their use. Oh, shoot. Of, of, of limit second hit of up B? No, of like, um, limit up B. Because right. they know how, like, a lot of clouds will try their darkness to, like, uh, keep their limit for as long as possible. But Beast is such a threat off stage and Mojo's just like, I'm just going to use limit, avoid this whole scenario together, and just live to see another day. Rather than, like, try to save it for, like, a co confirm. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, like like we mentioned earlier, you know, Cloud, you know, actually has a little bit of a shorter time limit for his limit now. Right? Right. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's dead. Yeah, it doesn't take the, the stage from side B. He's rolling his eyes, very not happy about that scenario. It's going a little too low for his pleasure. And now you're down a whole stock against the number one seed of this event that can juggle you forever. Beast, Charizard already has a relatively difficult time getting down. But against this character? Against that up air, AJ? I don't know, Mr. Mojo Ryzen. I don't want to say he's running away with this one, but it's looking oh! like he's running away with this oh! one. Bit, AJ. Yeah. Oh, man. Looking like we might have a quick winner's finals if Mr. Mojo Ryzen keeps playing the way that we do. Yeah, running away with it, and right now he's sprinting towards the finish line. Trying Harry. to get the grand as fast as possible. Parrying that neutral air again, like you mentioned earlier, AJ. Over and over, ping pong and with himself, mixing up the timing with that double jump to get the down air. I totally would have done that same onslaught option as well, or would have expected it, as Beast certainly does. Oh my goodness, you're, you're 
Mojo is feeling himself so hard right now. Like, that F smash was crazy. Oh my god, yeah, the up smash. Mr. Mojo Rising stocks are, in fact, rising right now. If you're not investing, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. We're not getting the force shock, are we, AJ? Oh, oh my god. All right, someone call, someone call my financial manager. Yo, I need to invest in some Mojo stocks right now. No, I'm not, invest I'm not investing shit. That's mad tilting. He, uh, he, he taunted in our set as well. Not happy about that. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Now, Beast not investing right now. Like, his 401k is going down the toilet. All right. We've seen Beast come back from situations like this. It's a ridiculous mountain to climb, but if there's any player in this building that's going to be able to do it, or any player in this bracket that can, it's certainly him. All you got to do is gimp him three times. You remember what everybody said about Cloud? Just gimp him. Yeah. They were all wrong, but like, you know, <laughs> maybe here it's different. I don't know. Cloud, uh, or sorry, uh, Charizard, I should say, is amazing at gimping opponents. But not when they have a uh, limit on deck. Well, I think just in general, even past the carries, Mojo's general movement is so good at, like, just avoiding there. All right, Limit Cross Slash, absolutely not going to do it against Charizard from center stage. Wow. Okay. I will say, Mojo, I, Mojo has, like, executed, like, the same, like, edge guard, like, three times against Beast, and we almost saw it there again. Beast is teching that forward air like every time too, but it winds up not even mattering. Yeah, Getting up to 200%. He, he just ends up setting up uh, Mojo for an F or F smash. Yeah, in his head, not looking too confident right now. Feels like he's prolonging the inevitable. I'm seeing a lot more head shakes than head nods coming out from Beast right now. And I don't blame him. Mr. Mojo Ryzen is a very skilled opponent, very difficult to play against. Some would say damn near annoying, but the more annoying you are to play against, sometimes it low key means it's you're doing something right. Right. Not always, but you know, a lot of the time indeed. Alright. Taking a long time to think about this final stage right here. Dave's stupid rule is in effect. I mean it doesn't matter for Beast because he didn't, you know, he hasn't won a he has not won a game in this set yet. But it's looking like we're going to be running into Battlefield this time around. He's going to be living a little bit longer here on a stage like this. Cloud, you know, I feel like I kind of like this counter pick actually, ironically enough, despite what I was saying about Cloud earlier on Battlefield, how I think it's one of his better stages, or it's always been his better stages, especially if he has got that Smash 4 up air and neutral air in tow. But when you're a big, big body like Beast, like, you know, freaking Charizard, you're going to get juggled by Cloud anyway. You know what I mean? You're going to get juggled regardless, so going to Battlefield might be a good option because now with the taller Blast Zones, you're just going to wind up living longer on a stage like this usually, and you might be able to screen out some earlier kills against uh, Cloud by gimping him, or with your sometimes superior kill power depending on if he's got limit or not. Right. Like, I feel like the same thing is going to happen, but, you know, it doesn't always matter. Yeah, because, like, the lead, the lead guard that... Uh, Mojo has been getting on Beast. It hasn't really been resulting in him getting spiked or anything. It's just he dies off the side. So having these larger blast zones will help him out. Yeah. Ooh, okay, that fair from ledge or not ledge from the, from the other platform. I can't believe that he fared from one platform and, and it hit the other one. That, that's kind of nuts how big that move is. Honestly, it's a pretty good burst option as well. Like it's kind of like a little bit of a wake up out of the corner. Like I'm just gonna forward air right here. You're not gonna expect it. Okay, that episode's gonna take it to Mojo right now. Evening up the stock now. Oh shoot. There, there could be Gimp. Okay, nope. first time we're seeing Flamethrower coming out from Beast is said. No, we it is not. It's the second time oh, actually. Second? Oh, yeah. okay. But who's keeping score? Uh, apparently you are. I, I don't know, I just remember seeing him do it once. <laughs> oh! Oh wow! The knockback roll. This is what I'm talking about. I feel like Beast's survivability on this stage is gonna be way better than Mojo Rising's. And like him just getting juggled on a stage like this is not necessarily going to matter. Because you, you get juggled because of how big of a body you are pretty much anywhere, really. So I feel like that's going to help with, like, you know, Beast's elongated advantage state game, sort of. He, like, if he plays his cards perfectly, he should be the one, like, taking stocks earlier on a stage like this. And that back air just narrowly whipping. See, he actually had the read. And, like, the, he, he knew exactly where Mojo was going to go right there. But unfortunately, just the hitbox just not completely properly spaced. Now Mojo having to. Now Mojo's the one having to bring this one back. Horde ASDI down yeah. right there, yo. I'm not dealing with that, man. First hit, 
That's something I haven't forgot to mention in the stocks or the um, or the set that we've been talking about so far. Mojo Ryzen's SDI is insane. Like he's one of the only players I've seen that really takes good like usage or makes good usage of the fact that this game's SDI multiplier is crazy. Yep, definitely. Like when I was playing against him with Pit, a character who all of pretty much all of his aerials or most of his aerials are multi hits, he just got out every time. You commentated that set, you remember? Yeah, I, I remember. Like, you know, I was impressed by yeah. how much he was able to see out of your stuff. So. You think he only does that against Pit? Hell no. Yeah, do it against everyone, why not? Yeah, why not? It's the worst that could happen. Also, I feel like another thing that this stage offers, it offers a uh, beast a different place to... Ooh, that down air is gonna take it for beast. Gonna go up uh, two stocks to one. But yeah, the, the middle platform on this stage offers Beast and this place to land, so he's not gonna like be susceptible to like parry. Cause Mojo would just stand in center stage and wait for Beast to fall on and parry the Nair. But now he can just land on the, the top platform. Gets a bit more mix up timing on when he's actually gonna go in. Alright. Nice tech. Got a ping pong off. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing like a game. Drop through the platform. Yeah, th like, do it, man. Just drop down and Mojo's like, come on, try to hit me. And then he just kind of slips past him. Trying to cancel the limit into the back air right there. Nothing doing, says Beast. Kind of question if he's going to try to use this limit to be able to take the stock or if he's going to want to hold it and then just save a little bit for damage for the next. I imagine it's going to be the former. We got limit on deck on the part of Mr. Mojo Ryzen. You got to take the stock now before the insurance of Beast, of Mr. Beast right here, is able to get too high on it. Actually losing the limit, flanking with the player flip? Yeah, I don't know what happened there, but uh, Mojo I... was able to get a stock off of just jab, jab, dash attack. Was it uh, something I haven't seen yet? I thought, oh, okay, he'll get a juggle off a down tilt off the jab. I would take it from there, but no, just straight out gets the kill. I would definitely only have one nickel if you asked me the amount of times or how many nickels would it take if I've seen that interaction before. Oh, you're, you're, you're lying. Oh. You're lying. You're lying. Oh, you're lying. My Oh, he endured! That's why he went to Battlefield, baby. Those tall blast zones. Big, big boy like Charizard, you're going to live way longer. That's what I'm saying. His survivability, way better on a stage like this, as opposed to Mr. Mojo Rising. Oh, oh okay. Weak. Now with the Mojo. <laughs> that guy, Matt, the up smash I've seen in my life. That was a foul ball. Like, he was swinging the yeah. ball right there. He just only got the tip. Oh, this is scary. Mr. Mojo Rising somehow bringing this back to the depths of hell. Trying to get the scoop hitbox of the flare from, off the flare blitz once again. Nothing doing. Says Beast once again, holding center stage as you have to, but you're the one who's down. That means you're the one who has to commit. You're the one who's got to approach Mr. Mojo Rising off the level. That was so Somehow weird. able to snap ledge, AJ. Oh my god, this is... Yo, the oh! Yo, still alive off of the up smash again. Is this going to be a 3-0 or is, Mr. is Beast going to oh, stay oh, on? He's going to take it. That's a 3-0, baby. And Mr. Mojo Rising, stocks rising in best now. Take out your... What is, what is the app that people use to invest for that they used to invest before they shut uh, it down because the game stopped? Uh, uh, Robin Hood? Robin Hood, yeah, yeah. Take out your Robin Hood app. <laughs> invest in some Mojo Inve Rising stocks. Invest in some Mojo Rising stocks. Or if you want to invest in an up and coming company, an up and coming stock, you can invest in Malarson stocks right now as he's guaranteed top four at this event. HDRB. Big money, he's saying right yeah, now. Yeah, big, big money. Mo big big stock. money, Malarson.